It looks like 75% of solar panel installation companies have gone out of business in the last year. There's over 500 registered solar companies in my area and 350 of those contractors have not reported a single solar panel installation in the last 12 months. I just pulled up to a neighborhood and I am going to go knock some doors and talk to the people in this neighborhood who have solar panel systems and see what the real numbers are. So I have four houses right here. So let's just check it out. Nobody's home. It's where the, all three of these installs look like. Uh, they didn't installs. You can tell by um, the panel types, the racking types, and the configurations. Hey, how you doing? Hi, good. And I own a solar panel repair company. I'm out talking to people about their solar panel systems, offering free inspections. What is is that most people have systems, but they don't work. And the company who installed them is just out of business. Can't get a hold of anybody. If you want to pass on that information. I, all right, thank you. Have a good day. All right, first house, nobody home. Second house, decision maker was at home. Hi. I'm Brandon. You must be Candace. Hi. Good to meet you. Give me the tour. What? So the sub panel and all that's out here, right? It's kind of treacherous walking up here. All right, so um, here we have all the solar panels. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, 21. So there's 21 solar panels here. Um, six of them work. So this is like a very unpleasant situation. Um, <laughs> like people need to know about this. A power surge to your home can literally destroy your entire solar panel system and all the power electronics are going to need to be replaced this this is becoming a massive issue so let me catch you up i went out knocked a couple doors found a lady um who allowed me to do an inspection on her solar panel system when i inspected it found out that only eight of her 23 solar panels were working after that i called the manufacturer called the power company called insurance but essentially what happened was there was a power surge due to storm a lightning strike the power surge destroyed um, over half of her solar panel installation so she is a single mom works two jobs um, has some kids and she got solar panels in order to save money on her electric bill now she has a loan on the solar panels she has a solar panel system that's not covering her electric bill and she's paying money to the utility and the replacement of the solar panel system the is probably three to four thousand dollars in repairs to ballpark it um it honestly could have been a lot worse three to four thousand dollars like minimum to get the system back up and running um this is something that people in the solar industry should know about if you have solar panels make sure you have a whole home surge protection device installed it's a hundred dollar device it goes inside of your main panel it's not that difficult to wire up and it will save you thousands of dollars if you ever have a surge a power surge from the utility and it's interesting because the utility company is going to be slow to admit that they were the cause of the problem and the manufacturer of the microinverters does not warranty a grid event that's outside their control the homeowner's at a loss so it's going to fall on the homeowner's insurance which if you file a claim it's going to be expensive and it's going to raise your rates in in a follow-up video i'm going to be installing a whole home surge protection kit at this site um, in order to make sure that this doesn't happen again and i will show you how to install one of those something that you can buy off of amazon for like 50 to 100 dollars and um if you are if you know electrical you can do it or you can have somebody else do it for you um but for this situation i'm going to contact the power company the insurance company um and the uh the manufacturer and i will let you know how this process goes um with trying to um warranty or make these repairs 